Hi LEGO fans, we have another retired set from the LEGO Movie today. This is set number 70806, Castle Cavalry, with 424 pieces. This set was released in 2014 and has been retired for a couple of years, but I managed to get one which is kind of mint in box from eBay. Okay, it's a little bit battered, but it's original and it's still sealed. This is slightly different from the sets that I usually review, uh, because this is actually a two-in-one set which means not only do we have to unbox, speed build and review the set, we actually have to tear the whole thing apart and do it again. As you'll know if you checked out my review of Benny's Spaceship 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 last week, I'm a big fan of vintage LEGO and I love vintage LEGO elements. So I was really pleased to see LEGO using some retro elements like these cartwheels here, but they've resisted the temptation to go completely retro with the castle theme and do a big yellow castle. Let's flip this box over and see how it looks on the back. So essentially we're getting two different sets here. Firstly we're getting the castle frontage here with these cool gates and this lion symbol above the gate. And then we're getting a flying contraption with stud firing guns and a micromanager chasing the crew. We're also getting three minifigures, Sir Stackerbrick, Gallant Guard and Sharon Shoehorn who's obviously one of the bit part players from the Lego Movie. This wasn't a hugely expensive set when it was available in stores. It retailed for about $39.99 US and for the 424 piece part count that sounds about right. I got this on eBay for just under $20 so I was pretty pleased with that and I can forgive the slightly battered box. Great so let's get this open and see what we've got inside. So here's everything we got inside the box. We've got no numbered bags of Lego, we just have two different sets of instruction manuals, this one for the castle and then a two part instruction manual for the kind of flying cavalry castle build thing and then we also have a sticker sheet. And the thing that really interests me about this sticker sheet is these grey stickers here for the castle walls. And these stickers have been used before. This is a design that's actually on the fantastic set number 71040 Disney Castle. And I'll show you these stickers on there once we've completed the build. Cool! So we've actually got two builds in one today. The first build we're going to do is the castle and we're going to do that right now. Here comes a speed build and it's going to take 25 seconds. So this is build number one, the castle gates, and this took about 30 minutes to put together. Two things I noticed, firstly we're not getting any minifigures with this part of the build, and secondly we have a lot of pieces left over. If you've seen the Lego movie you'll recall that the heroes break down other Lego structures to make new creations, and in the case of this set we're going to build a castle themed ship to chase away Lord Business's evil micromanagers. Some of the pieces you see here are going to construct the minifigures and some of the pieces are going to construct the micromanager but it does look like we've got a few extra pieces to build that second build. The second build instruction manual comes in two parts and this first part is very thin. This covers the build instructions for the micromanager and the three minifigures. I'm going to quickly put those together so we can take a look at the minifigures and see what we've got left over. Phew, that micromanager was a fiddly little build, but as you can see we do have some pieces left over so we do need some additional elements to complete the second build in addition to tearing down the castle gates. Speaking of which, now that we have our minifigures, let's do the castle gates review. The castle is a really nice build with some great detailing and I think once I've finished unbuilding this, rebuilding the other thing, I'm probably going to put it back into the castle mode as you see here. 
It comes with this really simple pair of lamps, which almost feel like filler in the context of the castle, but I'm sure we're going to need those elements to make the second master build. We also get this super little cart build here, and it has these retro cartwheels which make me very happy. Uh, I used to get these on sets back in the 1980s when I was into collecting Lego Castle and those are beautiful wheels. Uh, we also get a couple of uh, little kind of catapults here, one on each side and some ammunition in there. So let's see if we can figure out how to launch these shells using these catapults. Okay so the first thing we need to do is undo a couple of these. So we can take those away and if we drop those in there then it should just be a case of flicking these. So let's see if we can zoom out just a little bit. We don't want these to go too far but uh, let's see if we can go far enough. So here we go. So I'm going to really go for it this time. Oh, oh yeah. Those, uh, those kind of do go a long way. Hang on, let's do that one more time. I'm going to see if I can do it from this angle. Hey, yeah, that's super fun. We'll do that one more time in close-up. I'm not a fan of stickers on Lego models. I really like printed pieces, but this has been quite sympathetically done, and I think the stickers here do add a lot of value to the set. Now, I did say earlier that these look very much like the stickers that we have on the Disney Castle, which is obviously an uber premium and very expensive set. Now if I just flick back to some of the footage from my review of the Disney Castle, you can actually see these stickers aren't quite the same, but the printing is very similar. The gates are a particularly nice touch on this model. I really like those elements and those are large, those are very useful. And if we look at the top here, we actually have a very cool piece above the gates. You can actually see we've got this lion head and a finial above the gates and that is super awesome. I'm very, very pleased to have that element. I've definitely not seen that before. I've no doubt it's been used somewhere else, but that is a first for my collection and makes me very happy. Turning to the back of the castle, Lego could have very easily left this part of the build quite plain. So it's really nice to see some extra detailing in here. For example, the skull and the bones here. And then we also have a kind of mechanism on the gate for holding them shut. I was kind of surprised when I saw in the box that Lego were making a feature of the fact that the gates opened, which wasn't really a surprise. This part simply lifts out so that we can undo the gates and open them. Each of the two turrets comes with a selection of weaponry, so Sir Stackerbrick and Gallant Guard can protect the castle. Our first minifigure is Sir Stackerbrick and he looks splendid with all this silver and gold printing. We have printing on the chest, on the waistband, and on the pants down here. And if we flip him over, there is even more printing on the back, denoting his armour. He also comes with this beautiful silver helmet with a nice blue plume. And if we pop off that helmet, you can see he's got a rather jolly but serious face under there. No expression on the back, uh, but that is a beautifully printed minifigure. And that is Sir Stackerbrick. This is Gallant Guard, and as you can tell by his name and the way he's dressed, he doesn't have quite the same status as Sir Stackerbrick. He is still nicely printed. No printing on the legs, but we do have some nice printing on the torso here with some metallics there, especially in the belt buckle. We also have some metallic printing on the back and this brown leather strap. He's wearing a very nice silver helmet here with some nice mottling around the edge here. And if we pop off that hat, you can see he's got this kind of bemused expression and this uh, very trendy stubble on his face there. And he's a great little minifigure. That is our gallant guard. So that was build number one of this two in one set. And I'm really impressed with the castle. I like this. I'm definitely going to be rebuilding this and displaying it. The unfortunate downside with two in one sets is that you have to tear the whole thing apart to make the other one. So let's go ahead and tear this apart.
And here's completed build number two. I'm not sure I like this quite as much as the castle gates, but it's still a very cool build and there's lots of fun features here. We also get one of Lord Business's evil micromanagers. These robots are meant to personify the perfectionism that you often see among Lego collectors. Having everything just right, built correctly, stickers on straight, people pointing in the right direction, and I can certainly empathize with that. And of course, being a micromanager is just one step away from the craggle. Actually sticking the Lego bricks together so that they can never come apart again. However, we will not be using any craggle today. Or will we? Before anybody gets excited, I've got to point out that Lord Business is not included in this set and no minifigures were craggled during the filming of this video. If you've seen these Lego movie sets before, you'll know that they often come with one of these micromanager builds. And these are pretty cool, but fairly simple builds. They usually have a couple of features on there. So this one in particular has a void at the back here and you can fold down this set of wheels so it can trundle along. And if you're very careful, like so, you can get it to stand up on those wheels. Uh, those are actually quite, uh, well, not that wide, but they are wide enough to get it to stand up on. So let's pop those back. And we also at the front here get this claw, which is the micromanager's main tool for manipulating Lego creations to make sure they're perfect. And that is our micromanager build. In addition to looking very cool, there are a couple of interactive elements on this second build. The first of which are these flick missiles at the front here. Can you see the orange studs there? We can actually operate those from the back of the ship. Let me spin it around and show you how. We have these red buttons at the back here and by pushing these in, we can actually operate the flick missiles just like so. Flick missiles are definitely not the most exciting weaponry Lego has to offer and these really don't go very far and all the pieces fall off. So they're just meh, not very good. The really nice thing about this second build is that Lego have used pretty much all of the pieces from the original castle build, including this skull and bone from the base of one of the towers. We even get space at the back of the ship for our third minifigure, Sharon Shoehorn. This is Sharon Shoehorn, and she has a larger role in the Lego movie than I thought. She's actually Larry's wife from the Where Are My Pants show. You know, the guy who goes, honey, where are my pants? Well, this is his wife, Sharon Shoehorn, and she's quite beautiful. Uh, she has very simple pants on here, just black pants, uh, some quite simple printing to the front there and the back with this strappy top, which has got this beautiful blonde hair piece. Uh, I really like the way these hair pieces float down over the shoulder of the minifig and around the front. Uh, excuse me, Sharon, while we just take off your hair for a second, because I do think she's got something to show us around the back. And she has a rather more, um, I don't know whether that's frightened or bemused expression, but that is Sharon Shoehorn with her beautiful blonde hair. So that was set number 70806, Castle Cavalry from the Lego Movie. I've really enjoyed building this set and for the $20 that I paid for it, it's been great value for money. My favourite part of the build has to be the castle gates and I think I'm going to tear this apart and rebuild those. We also got some really cool minifigures and Sir Stackerbrick has to be my favourite of the three. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, speed building, speed unbuilding, speed rebuilding and review video today. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more awesome Lego content. We release two brand new videos every week, so there's always something new, or like today, something a little bit older to come back for. Thanks for joining us today. It's been a blast, and we'll see you on the next build video.